What's good guys? Slime Green Beats in the building. In this video, I'm gonna show you all how to turn on the metronome and adjust the BPM in FL Studio 21. Before we get started, make sure you guys check out the How to Mix Beats book, brought to you by Slime Green Beats. How to Mix Beats, the sequel to How to Make Beats. This cover's even better. This is one of the best book covers you'll ever see. It's amazing. Great book. Uh, check it out. It's on Amazon. You can get it off of Amazon or the website. Or Etsy. Or Etsy. Shout out to Etsy. All right. Um, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jay Kizzle. Um, metronome. Metronome. So um, the metronome is conveniently right here, right in this upper portion here. This is the BPM of the beat. This is the metronome. I personally hate the sound of the metronome, but if you right click, you can select the sound of the metronome. So let's turn it on, click this, right click and click a tick, click a tick. You can have a beep or a cowbell. I just do the hi-hat. It's probably the less annoying out of the three sounds. The metronome is essential, obviously, for keeping things on beat. And if you want to change the beat here, or the BPM, you can uh, move this. So what about sounds that are already there? If you have a pattern already there, you can adjust it. Sometimes it will ask you if you want to change the uh, BPM of the pattern. You can choose to or not. So I'm basically just left clicking and dragging. This is, this is the feature here. Um, you can also tap it. Select some like the bass ones here. You can, you can also tap it. So I could be like, if I'm trying to figure out what, what the BPM of something is, I could be like, see it's like the 100, or it's like that, or So simple tap, right click, click tap. Oh. That's pretty much it. Hold on a second. Okay, I'll show you one more BPM related thing for my samplers out there. Um, let's do like a percussion here. D cap. So if we drag this in here, it's pattern. So if we want this to be on BPM, um, well, first of all, let's, we could we could double click into this with the uh, left click, double left click, right click, detect tempo. 154 is the estimated tempo. So you can change the, uh, the entire track to that. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, like you know, sample has to align with it. Uh, you can also just drag this. Uh, you have to like play with um, this here, stretching and such. click this is going to stretch okay that's not necessarily bpm related but um that's another bpm thing so bpm metronome that's where it's at guys um if you guys have any questions let me know i'm pretty sure that covers it all all right let's let's end this video on just a solid bpm sound while i talk about this book on beat on beat Please buy this book right now. Okay. <laughs> See ya.